Yeah. Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amit Pay Technologies. See, today I'm going to explain about how to start learning Java full stack course, how long it will take, how the classes will go, full stack course, the complete information, how many months it will take, and what all the concepts we are going to cover in this Java full stack course I'm going to explain. So first thing is, what is the purpose of learning Java full stack course? Not only the Java full stack, any full stack course is used to develop a software, develop an application end to end. End to end application development is possible with the help of full stack only. Sir, what actually application contains and what all the things we are going to cover. Simple, see, every application consists three parts. Best example, we are taking one banking application. Sir, why is everyone taking banking application as an initial example means what? It is, is means what easily every student can connect to the banking application example because daily we are using the bank application so banking application end to end see what application will do actually banking application is just for two simple reasons only the first one to store account holders information account holders information and followed by to process that information all the transactions details it will maintain just for two reasons only suppose one person came i just want to take the account from your bank suppose what is the simple answer okay see here it is account is ready they will store some information account details they will store account details and followed by Whenever they perform the transactions, all the transactions information they will maintain. All the transactions information they will maintain. That is. So where they will store the information? What is the process means for? So simple. We always maintain the data permanently in the database. For that, you must learn database technologies. Inside the database only, you will store the information. For that, database management system is required. So many database management systems are there. So many database management systems are there. Using one database management system, you can perform all the data operations storing the data, retrieving the data, updating the data, deleting the data, store, retrieve, collect the data, update the data, delete the data, like this. Using this database management system, here we should have the knowledge of Oracle. It's containing the concepts of SQL and PLSQL concepts. We will discuss any anyway. so one Oracle database management system we will learn. This is called database. But sir, if we learn only database, is that enough? No. Because all the operations we are performing from the client. From the client we perform all. Client is also called user interface. So what is this user interface? Suppose whenever, whenever one customer entered into the bank and saying, I want to take the account from your bank. Okay, here it is. They will open some bank name, suppose hdfc.com. Then it will show so many options. Just create the account login option, create the account, delete the account, update the name, update the account details, 
some information it will show when you click on login that login related things it will show if you want to delete the account that delete related things it will show simply sir how can we create this one for example create the account enter account number enter account holder name balance in account just create that account one button three text boxes to enter the details after that after that when they click on create button all the details need to store in the database all the details need to store in this database sir how can we create this one to create this we should have the knowledge of html CSS and JavaScript with the new features called UI technologies knowledge we should have. Okay, once they entered the details, will it go and store directly into the database? Definitely not. It will not go and store the details directly into the database. Impossible. In between, there should be a server system. There should be a server system. This is called backend server system. This is called Java. Here we are learning the concepts. First basic concepts, then followed by advanced concepts. So what it is responsible for? Whenever they click on create, they click on create. First, it is responsible for collect data from the UI, from HTML page. Second one, it will connect to database. It will connect to database. After connecting to the database, it will insert the data. After inserting the data, it will display the result successfully created or not, just display the result. Simple. Here it is, sir. If you want to learn this Java backend, what all the things we are going to learn, right? Basics starting from the core Java concepts. Core Java concepts along with the new features, JDK 8 features, new features, followed by Advanced concepts, JDBC, database connectivity, servlets, and JSP. For connection code, you are using this JDBC. So, once you good at all these areas, once you good at all these areas, then, then you can able to develop the application. But now, you will not become the full stack developer. That full stack development is divided into two parts. One is a Java web development. Second one is a full stack development. Full stack development. Initially, just console applications, basic applications only we will develop. Console applications. Right, console application means what? Run on single machine only. Single machine. How can we develop console applications means? First, we will start learning the concepts called Core Java. Using the Core Java, you can develop only console-based applications. If you want to run, run on server from different machines at a time, different machines at a time in a network if you want to develop you need to develop the web application that web application what is required means what all these three required first designing the client for client ui technologies html css javascript followed by es6 features 
ES6. Second one is a server side. So at server side, already you should have the knowledge of Core Java. For database connectivity, JDBC. And for server side programming, servlets and JSP, we will learn. And then one database you will learn. That is Oracle first. Once you are good at all these areas, you can able to develop one application that is called project development finally. That is web project we can call web project. Sir, here along with the web project, I want to become full stack developer means what? Same, not a simple applications, enterprise level applications. Of course, we will develop all these applications enterprise level applications you need to develop that is a full stack de development in this full stack development in the client you will learn one framework one framework that is actually called react js we will learn here react js just little advanced to the javascript html css javascript in the same way server side frameworks also we will learn right for support of jdbc and servlets right we are learning spring boot spring boot data jpa that is for jdbc jdbc related framework database connectivity framework followed by the rest api and one more database we will learn that is a mysql and this is the final project development to become the full stack developer all these things of course some tools are there anyway but learning tools is not that much important easy easy tasks postman so many git so many tools are there real-time tools people call it as but first programming is important once you can able to develop the projects right running the projects logging and all the things become very very easy right so this is complete java full stack development course so how the classes will go on this is okay right every full stack developer at the end of the day need to develop the application and this is the process of learning the things how long it will take how long it will take Suppose, here it is, first we are starting with the front end and back end. Of course, few days front end and few days of back end. Suppose in back end, first core Java will start. In the day one, core Java will start. In that core Java, hardly how many days it will take means what? Exactly 35 sessions are there. 35 sessions. In the drive, already all videos also uploaded. After that, UI technologies are there. Parallelly, we will start UI technologies classes also. If you want to attend the classes, quickly you can complete. How long means what? HTML hardly will take one week, seven days. CSS also hardly will take seven days. JavaScript will take time. But after this CSS, we will teach that Oracle concepts, SQL, will take a 10 days. From these 20 days, 25 days, here in Core Java, almost OOPS concepts will be completed. Once it will complete OOPS concepts, then it is easy to learn JavaScript in maximum of two weeks. After that, automatically, React JS will start. Once you good at the concepts of JavaScript, very easy to learn React JS concepts. Almost equals to JavaScript. Coding is the same, but the way of writing the place will change. That's it. After this one, we are going to start here. We are going to start here. Two things. One is, uh, as you have already completed SQL, JDBC will start. Database connectivity will take exactly 10 days. After that, 
servlets and jsp servlets and jsp also will take hardly 10 to 20 10 to like around 12 days will take two weeks and then we will start the project development project development the first project the first project exactly you can complete in two and a half months then you can prepare your resume after preparing the resume we can attend the interviews by attending the interviews we will complete the remaining things like learning spring and hibernate some examples then spring boot and data jpa spring boot and data jpa followed by the rest api after that rest api final integration project with the spring boot and react integration with the data jpa and rest api this is the final project if we can able to learn this much every company is ready to provide you the job so don't worry about the job right all the thing is what you need to learn properly without deviation that is if you attend few classes then you will combine you know, how classes will be is it easy to understand or not everything you will understand see here it is we are providing the workbooks in the workbooks you can understand in the workbooks just you can understand how the classes will go suppose if i explain the theoretical concept the day one theoretical concept if i explain you need to get the xerox of this book and you need to keep it with you if it is an offline training we will provide this to every student so once the basics completed all these mcqs you need to complete once variables concept completed variables related questions you need to complete next the basic programming on variables you have to practice after theory class the next one after completion of this if arithmetic operators will start and you need to complete this arithmetic operators then relational then followed by the programs on arithmetic operators then followed by relational operators programs formatting programs everything strings object oriented programming methods arrays collections jdk new features everything properly documented see pattern programs see here something is missing here the conditions you have to write I'll explain the concept, then followed by you need to complete this document as soon as the class completes. This is how every day the class will go. See, this is patterns completed, arrays related programs. So many programs are there. Each and every program will cover in this one. Next one is a string handling. String handling will start after arrays. After arrays, strings will start here after strings object oriented programming collections each and every concept will cover each and every concept okay hardly how many days means what 35 sessions will take sir can you cover exactly in 35 sessions means what in drive already videos are there okay you can you can pay in two ways up to for web development and then followed by the full stack you can join or at a time you can join for full stack development course also this is exactly how we provide full stack development course in amirpet technologies okay